Do I look excited? No. No. <laughs> It's because I'm just bottling it up inside because I'm so fired up. It's time for the doctor's court. Yeah. Yeah. Court is in session. Attorney and legal analyst Anna Hina said a Gatfar does not know what she has in store. Um, you put the gavel in my hand. And I'll uh -oh. tell you, I just, I love this. this I is my love the gavel. Segment. He's a judge out of control. <laughs> I okay. heard, I heard he loves this. <laughs> no more outbursts. Court is in session. <laughs> Just kidding. An estimated 1.7 million people in the U.S. will be diagnosed with cancer this year. But a 26-year-old New Jersey woman was recently arrested by police after reportedly lying about having brain cancer in order to trick a couple into letting her stay with them. Police say the woman had used similar tactics in at least two other states, but had not until now been charged with a crime. Before we even get into the specifics of this, I, this makes me so sad. What legally could the charges be and, and what could happen to this individual for basically faking cancer to get free room and board? Right, so she's being charged with theft by deception. And what that means is if you deceive somebody, you defraud somebody into giving you money or anything of value, that is a crime. It is a felony in most states. In this case, she faces up to three years maximum three in prison years. for what she's done, yes. Yes, so that's a serious crime. And look, this is unfortunately not uncommon. There are hundreds of these types of cases throughout the country, and I've covered a lot of them. It's and the disgusting. faking cancer thing, it's got to stop. Yeah. I mean, you're seeing all these people online raising money, and then you find out that they're faking the diagnosis, yes, and you're duping right, yes. really well-intentioned people. But I think this is pure evil, because this is not one of those cases where we see people faking an illness or faking a child's illness to get sympathy and get attention. That is a mental illness, and there's a specific name for that disease. It's right, called Munchausen's. Right. 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 But this, in a case like this, where you're trying to get money and get free room and board and doing all of that to, you know, make money Con off job. of it... That's pure evil. That's well, a and she was Awful. she was faking going to the hospital for treatments, mm -hmm. and yeah. she would during that time actually go work and make money. And you know, it's just these are the kinds of pictures that the the individuals unsuspectingly housing her. They thought she was going through all this, and that is so awful. I, and and let me look. That is so awful. This I, is a I, tough. This is a tough. This is a tough, right this is a tough they, cruel world. Yes. Like you know, you have good people trying to do the right thing and make this world a better place, and then you have something like this happen. Well, well, she did an elaborate scheme here. She was sending fake text messages to this poor couple, pretending to be a nurse, saying, "Oh, this is what you need to do to take care of her. This is her illness." This couple stayed up with her at night, rubbing her feet, making sure she was okay, come to find out it was all just a scam. I mean, this is really and, a And let me read blow. her statement after her arrest. The woman posted an apology on Facebook that reads in part, to those I have hurt, purposefully or not, from the absolute depth of my soul, I am sorry. Words could never express just how many tears I have shed over knowing I contributed to the heartache of another human being. That was never my intent. Her entire statement will be on our website. That was never my intent. It was all intent. This was a scheme. She had it all planned out and plotted. She's going to have a lot of time to think about who she hurt and what she did. Yep. So yep. this is pure evil in my opinion. I think we would like to vote. No <laughs> brainer, the gavel, the gavel. Guilty. Guilty, Guilty yeah. Your Honor. Guilty. Guilty as charged.